Okay, so let's work this problem. Now, I've told you a bunch of times that the square root of x is the same thing as x to the one-half power, hadn't I? And I've told you that the cube root of x is the same as x to the one-third power, right? Am I writing this? So what should you be doing? You should be writing it. I already know this stuff. I'm writing it for you. So let's say I have the fourth root of x to the third power. What would that be the same thing as? No. You can't just say three-fourths because there's an x in the problem. What is it? x to the three-fourths power. So this three is the exponent. The four is the root in the exponent, right? Okay, so if we look at the problem they provided us right here, we've got the cube root, the cube root of four, don't we? We've got the cube root of four, don't we? And the whole thing is being what? Say cubed. Okay, so before I can cube everything here, I need to rewrite it where I have an exponent. Okay, so what would that inside the, what is the same thing as the cube root of four? The cube root of 4 is the same thing as what? There's, it's not 4 over. There's no division here. It's 4 to the one third power like that. Right? And now we're taking that and we're doing what with it? What's this say? We are cubing it. Okay? Now you need to understand the cube root of 4 is the same thing as 4 to the one third power, isn't it? Now, do I have a power right here? Is this one-third a power? Is this one-third a power? It is. And it's raised to another what? That's called a power to a power. So when you have a power to a power, you multiply. One-third times three, which is one. So I've got four to the first power. And four to the first power is just what? Four. Four. So in this blank, I would put the number 4. Now it says, and 4 to the one third power cubed is, well, that's what we just got done doing, isn't it? So it's also going to be 4, right? Now if you look at this one, it wants to know what A is, doesn't it? So, do what? So, let's do that. So we said that the, we said right here the cube root of four cubed was four, and we said that the four to the one third cubed was four, which tells us that this is the same thing as this, doesn't it? And it says it follows that the cube root of four equals four to the a power. Well, we know we have four to the a power, and they want to know what a is. What is the cube root of four the same thing as? 4 to the what power? One third. 1 third power. So you can clearly see that A is going to equal what? 1 third. So in this blank, I'd put 1 third, wouldn't I? So as we look at this one, this is an easier problem. 3 to the A power equals the fifth root of 3 to the 4. They're telling you they're equal. And they're saying since they're equal, find the value of A. Well, what would this be with an exponent? It'd be 3 raised to the 4 fifths power. Say 3 raised to the 4 fifths power. 3 raised to the 4 fifths power. Now, it's true that that equals 3a because they told us right here that they're equal, right? Well, they have the same base, and so I can set the exponents equal. When they have the same base, I can set the exponents equal. So what we're saying is a equals Four fifths, aren't we? And so right here in this blank, you'd put four fifths, like that. Okay, so let's look at this one. On this one, I've got, it's telling me, the given Chester is that three to the A equals the fifth root of three. These two are equal, it's saying that. Well, I need to know a different way to write that. The fifth root of three is the same thing as three to the one-fifth power, and they said that's equal to 3 over A. 
Well, when the bases are the same, you can set the exponents equal and solve. So we know that A equals one-fifth. So right here in the blank, I'd put one-fifth. Now, what this problem says is a little different. It's, at, it's saying which of the following expressions... Let's start over. So it's saying which of the following expressions are equivalent to this expression right here, right? Well, let's rewrite that expression first. The nth root of a to the m power is the same thing as a to what power? The m over n power, right? Yes, sir. Do we see that as a choice? We do, right here. Now, it told us to select all that apply. Okay? Well, this first one applies because I got a power to a power, and 1 over n times m equals this. Okay? This one also applies because m times 1 over n also equals that. Okay, let's look at this one. When they give me the nth power of a, that's saying a to the 1 over n all to the mth. And when we multiply, we get this. So that one works too. Uh, this one doesn't work. And this one doesn't work.